And it is six o'clock in Texas. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the stream. Um, it is uh, it is gaming week once again. So we're going to be getting back to the Fallout New Vegas playthrough. Um, last time we were, well, actually, I'll get into that when we get into the game. The you know last time on, um. Is there anything I need to catch you up on? Well, okay, nothing important. Let me just switch on over to the game. Um, and I can tell you about everything on the way. So, uh, this weekend, I had the pleasure of going to an anime convention which um was an odd one for me it was weird because you know i'm not a, well maybe you probably don't know but like i'm not like a big anime guy um i've seen i've seen a handful and i did like them um, but, you know, stepping into an anime convention with the amount of knowledge that I have was a culture shock, to be sure. Sorry. I just need to check my... That you're seeing everything right. No, okay. Yeah, okay. So it was a bit of a culture shock. But, um, it was good fun. Me and my dad went. Saw some cosplayers. Met some voice actors. Really cool. I'd do it again. Well, actually, I am doing it again. I'm going to uh, another one with friends uh, in December. I'll actually have cosplay that time, though. Uh, but enough about anime. Right now, we are gaming. And in this game, okay, better segues have been made, but last time uh, in the playthrough, we're right now we're um, working with the Brotherhood of Steel to fix their ventilation systems. Um, I got an upgrade for my robot, Eddie. He has better armor now. And uh, now we're in the last vault to explore vault 11 out in the middle of nowhere actually where is this Ooh. what the what am i wearing hold on status no way i have to relearn the menus again sadist armor metal helmet Right. Okay. I didn't realize this armor looks so stupid. So what do we got in here? Scorpions and Mantis Eye? I was going to check the map, wasn't I? Where is this? Yeah, I just walked out to the middle of nowhere. It's just sort of here. This iron sight is counterintuitive. <laughs> Look at that. Unless I'm supposed to shoot right above there at the like little point there. Hmm. 
Well, I hope I didn't lock myself out just now. Uh, that would be awkward. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that didn't work for a sec. Hello. Hello. Okay, there we go. I thought I trapped Eddie in there. That was that was worrying. <laughs> what do we got here? Eddie waits for literally no one. Hey, Dean. Good to see you here. Uh, New Vegas is going great. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with Vegas so far. Um, it's crashed a couple times. Nothing too, nothing too zany though. Um, but the experience has been really good. I feel like it had a slow start. For me, it was Eddie. For me, it was a slow start, right? Like I was like, okay, this is kind of like a little slow. But I came to appreciate the uh, the atmosphere, you know, and the sort of uh, the pace of the game. Uh, when you when you really let your uh, when you really let the atmosphere of the game soak in, it um, you know, it's a really great RPG. Of course, right now, um, I'm not illustrating that point very well, because, uh, Eddie's the one dragging me along here, but, uh, it's a first time playing through, is a little slow. Yeah, it was like, uh, well, it's kind of neat, I guess. But, you know, it's the, it's the appeal, right? I think something, I think the thing that's really appealing to me, that I've been thinking about while I've been playing this game, is that um, I feel like I'm constantly in danger, no matter where I am or what I'm doing. I I can never feel safe in this world, um, which is a good thing, right? I think that's a good thing in the context of this game. They are always on edge, right? It's just so harsh. Um, I mean, it hasn't been difficult, like gameplay-wise. Uh, per se. Uh, but it, it has felt... It has felt dangerous. Picks up after you reach Freeside Vegas. I think it's pretty dangerous. Yeah, well, I've... Um, I've reached New Vegas. Right now, I'm doing the... Which quest? I'm doing the side bets quest um not because i want to side with yes man but because you know i want to do the quests and just to make sure that if mr house decides to ask like hey did you visit everybody do you want to kill him or not i'm gonna be like no uh just leave him alone have your chip i'm going home <laughs> thanks thanks for hiring me i'm gonna go uh find a check somewhere I guess uh oh okay vault 3 overseer password well I, I'm not in vault 3 anymore vault 11 four corpses at the front entrance of vault 11 and a strange recording point to sinister events determine what happened to the citizens of vault 11 this must have been from the uh brotherhood guys Okay. Uh, actually, this I think this is the first audio recording I've gotten, so let's hear this. Are we really going to do this? It's open. We could just leave. Not could. Not after that. We don't deserve to leave. Just shine the example. That's what it called us. But we were. We did what we were supposed to. Not by a long shot. Anybody would have done what we did. If you ask me, that's exactly the problem. Now let's get on with this. I'll go first. Wait, wait. People should know what happened. 
Hmm, okay. Well, I guess that's these guys right here. Um, oh, right. I need. <laughs> I meant to pick up this pistol. Uh, well, I guess they did something not very nice and then shot themselves. That's what it sounded like. Um, I'm just here for, like, a radiator or something. What am I here for? What's your favorite place so far? Ooh, good question. Let me think on that. I may need to check the map just to, you know, just to see. I'm looking for a pressure controller. Let me check the map right quick. That's a good question. Where have I been? Scrapyard. Correctional facility. Hmm. Repcon. I remember I remember really liking the the whole what is it? What was the place where the ghouls were holed up? And they were like, hey, we're cool ghouls. Come over here. And then he's like, I'm not actually a ghoul. I just think I am. You know, that one where they're trying to go to space. I like that one. Uh, I like that place a lot. Um, I think the... If there's a, like a forest up here somewhere that I walk through, or where is it? There's a forest somewhere out here that I went to for some reason. Like over here somewhere. That was an interesting area, just because there's it's the like only forest in the game. Um. The basement, yeah. Well, you know what? Actually, the basement kind of like... I mean, it is pretty tense. But, um... Eddie, like... Is a I guess Eddie is able to see... Um... The invisible enemies. And, um... Yeah, it kind of gave it away. Um... But... I didn't have... I didn't have much issue with the basement personally vault 11 election guide I was end up getting lost yeah the maps in this game aren't very useful I feel like the local maps are kind of hard to read welcome guest dear fellow vault dweller congratulations your dedication to the democratic process is the bedrock upon which the continued stability of vault 11 is based now, to help you make your decision for this year's election, the Coalition of Vault 11 Voting Blocks has put together this handy Dweller's Official Guide to Obtaining Overseers Democratically, or Do Good, that contains a summary of the leading candidates for Overseer, as well as their statements, key positions, and most importantly, endorsements. Oh, is, is, this, the, is this Vault 11's gimmick? Is that... It has elections. Sincerely, Roy Gottlieb, Chairman, Coalition of Vault 11 Voting Blocks, President, Justice Block. The local map is useless. Can't tell a damn thing. Yeah, it's more of an artistic representation than a map. Candidate, Henry Glover. Endorsements, Utilitarian Block, Divine Will Block, Allied Service Workers Block. I'm a devoted husband and a father of six beautiful children. My oldest, Sam, was on the honor roll this quarter, and I couldn't be prouder of him. My youngest, Henry Jr., just said his first word, and it was, Dada. We've got this bond already, and he's still just a baby. Friends, when you go to the polls this election, I want you to think of your own children. Then I want you to think of Sam and Henry Jr. Picture their faces. Nate Stone should be overseer, not me. Wait, what? Wait, what? Nate Stone should be overseer, not me. Why'd he say that? 
Did you know there was one vault that had, was 99 women and one man, and that was it? I feel like I've heard that somewhere. I, I'm pretty sure that's also the plot of Maze Runner, isn't it? You remember this vault? All right, well, no spoilers, please, because I haven't played this game before. So don't, don't spoil anything for me. I'd like to discover everything on my own. Candidate, Donna Haley. Endorsements, Human Dignity Block, United Fault Technicians Block. I'm aware of the rumors circulating about me. I want everyone to know that they are vicious lies being spread by the other candidates in a desperate smear campaign. I have never in my life done anything so depraved, let alone for such things. But even if I had, that still wouldn't mean you should vote for me. That still wouldn't mean you should vote for me. Consider the fact that I am grossly underqualified for the position and that both of my opponents are far more deserving. I know nothing about governance. You would be hard-pressed to find a worse candidate than me. I can promise you my administration should be would be a disaster. <laughs> okay. Maybe this is some sort of weird reverse psychology <laughs> strategy. We'll see. Nathan Stone. Endorsements. Justice block. Honest election. <laughs> yeah, right. Endorsements. Justice block. This is ridiculous. I shouldn't even be a candidate. And I wouldn't be if it weren't for all the dirty backroom politics going on around here. It's sickening. You should all be ashamed. That, okay, something weird is going on. Something very strange is going on. None of the candidates want to be a candidate? Are they forced to run? Wait, what was this? Notice of postponement. Fellow citizens, due to the tragic events of the past few days, the Coalition of Vault 11 Voting Blocks has unanimously, has unanimously decided to postpone the election. Um, for Overseer, pending further investigation into the murders. Your security team wishes you to know that they are working tirelessly day and night to find the perpetrator and are already following up on a number of promising leads. God willing, if the killer is apprehended swiftly, we may have found a promising new candidate for Overseer. Sincerely, Terry Hart, President, Human Dignity Block. What is going on? Also, welcome to the chat, Assyric. I didn't say that before, but welcome. Thanks for being here. Uh, okay. So we got blocks. We got we got a block system going on. I guess everybody's like in different committees. Like in different clubs. I, is the gimmick here that they're trying to find the worst possible person to run for overseer? And that's the social experiment? Hello, gamer. Hello, gamer. This is really odd. I'm invested, though. Overseer order 745. Effective immediately. The traditional selection process for overseer is hereby ended. In lieu of a yearly election, a citizen will be chosen one month prior to the start of his or her term with our mainframe's random number generator, ensuring complete impartiality and fairness. Catherine Stone. Overseer. Catherine Stone, huh? Perhaps daughter or wife of Nathan Stone? Question mark? A lot of questions being raised here, guys. So, a vault that wants an overseer that's as, as bad at being an overseer as possible... Not sure who at Vault Tech came up with that one. Uh, but, you know, it's creative, I suppose. Wait, where'd you come from? Uh oh. The NCR was here.
is the dead end. I think. I hate Nate. Okay, so... I guess Nate Stone is the main character here. Wait, but if you hate Nate, then that means you want them to be the candidate, right? Because he's the worst. I think I'm starting to get the democratic process here. And looky there, gamers. It's the first ashtray of the night. That means we can add it to the collection. What is that? Anybody do some quick counting? 20, 40, 45, 46, 47 ashtrays total. For those who are not aware, I've been keeping track of how many ashtrays we find during this playthrough. Um, I think it started out of spite. Oh, there's another one. Um, but the oh the three, four. Absolute banger! Absolute banger after banger. Wait, so one, two, three, four. Wow. Okay. Just a casual. Uh, just hit the casual fifty milestone. No worries. Eddie, I need you to take these. Eddie is in charge of uh, the ashtray collection. No! He can't hold anymore? Whatever. Drop the Cazador. Drop the Cazador glands. Ashtrays are more important. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Where's the other thing that I grabbed? Ooh. Bark scorpion. Yeah, drop that. Don't need it. It's just weighing me down. Okay, excellent. Other than some ashtrays, there isn't anything in here. So, let's move on. Well, we found some lore, I guess. Glover has done nothing wrong. Vote for Stone. Hmm. Maybe they put, like, a bunch of inmates in here? To ensure that there are a bunch of people that did bad stuff. I hate Kate. Okay. We have a Nate enjoyer. Haley is a known adulterer and communist sympathizer. Elect Hallie for overseer. This is really funny. Rumors about Hallie are baseless. Vote Stone for Overseer. This is really unusual. Before I go downstairs... This was that other door, right? Yep, okay. Vault Tech will be there. Another ashtray. Excellent. Eddie, take this. Fifty-two? Right, what? I have fifty-two of these? Ten... 
20, 30, 40, 50, two? I don't remember grabbing those extra two, but I guess we did somewhere. I really thought I was keeping close track. Hmm. Okay. We got some bodies. Don't lose your head, buddy. Oh, there it is. So there's a door there. Giant rat. Mantis. This is connects to there. Kill that rat. It's really just too easy. I mean, he was just standing there. Is there another rat in here? Braxo. Thanks, Eddie. It's too easy. Eddie was the best investment I ever made. Oh, it's the ladies' room. Men's room. What's this room? That goes downstairs. Mm. Let's go this way first. Check my map. Oh, okay. So I was just using the iron sights wrong. Come on, I need more lore. I need more lore. Are these the poles? Science. Okay, public terminal. Now we got something going. Or is this the same? Yeah, I don't use that shotgun solely because of the iron sights. Yeah, it seems a little counterintuitive. Although, I think the top of the bolt, like the pointy bit, that's where you need to look, and not, like, through. Okay, this is the same. I think. Yeah. Dang it. I was really hoping for more lore. This is the same door. Yes, it is. rat you gotta be quicker than that buddy no time for hesitation the heck is that yo somebody got the burning team captain over here what is this oh right Eddie did that Okay, I'm starting to get lost. Unless. Okay. Okay, this loops around. Okay, good. Got a terminal here, a terminal here. What's the difference between a terminal and a public terminal?
come on. I guess that's the difference, huh? Punked again. I have such a bad track record with traps. You haven't been here for the other streams, Dean. I don't think anyway. But, man, traps and me, we do not go together. Like landmines, I trip every single landmine in the wasteland. That's what it feels like anyway. Trip wires, shotguns on the wall. Yeah, I'm a magnet. I'm a trap magnet. Remember to hydrate everybody. Pretty dangerous grenade traps that kill me sometimes. Yeah, it's like... I try to be so careful. Like, I step on a landmine. Then I'm like, okay, I gotta be real careful now. And then, like, you know, I try to get... I try to inch towards one to disarm it. And it goes off anyway. Sorry, you're vegan. No can do. What are you responding to? Are these dead already? I just keep saying stuff. I just run my mouth constantly. So sometimes I uh, I don't know what people are responding to. Water? Oh, right, yeah. See, cause it's likely that this water that I'm drinking, ashtray by the way, it's likely that this water that I'm drinking used to be, you know, like animal urine at some point, right? That's what I'm, let's just pull the band-aid off. All water at some point was animal urine, right? And as, as an animal product, right, it's not permissible in the vegan diet. That's what people don't want you to hear. Are the okay. So did Eddie kill these before I got here or were they already dead? It's it's hard to it's hard to know. Ruin chair. Another ashtray, dude. How many ashtrays have we found? Like seven. Are these edible? Hold on. Are the lunch boxes edible? No. I thought they were like lunch box like food items a little dumb but no that's okay you gotta be dumb to be smart you have to first be a moron to no longer be a moron am i right gamers am i right what is this male dorm female dorm camera Oh, come on. Admin. Well, we'll do admin last. So, I guess we'll follow Eddie's lead. Good one. Good one. This is where the guys lived. You know what? You know, I, I think it's a really, it was a really great idea to, um, to let the player know if a checkable, 
container was empty or not. That is, that was a great bit of uh, foresight on the developer's part. Because I'd be, I'd be the guy clicking ev li literally everything just to make sure there's not something useful in one of the boxes. You know what I mean? And sometimes I'll still click on it. Sometimes I'll still click on the empty locker just in case. You ever get scared when your follower kill cam some dude thinking you're dead? <laughs> well, not necessarily thinking that I'm the guy that died, but like I'm just exploring around, right? And Eddie with it in his bloodlust, right? Goes off somewhere without me knowing he went off somewhere. And suddenly boom, like <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like like, you know, it, it does the dramatic shot and, like, the loud, like, noise and everything. That, that's gotten me a couple times. A personal terminal. Ooh, hoo, hoo. now we're getting spicy. Now we're getting spicy. Wait, the steam gauge assembly isn't the thing we needed, right? We need a differential pressure controller. If you ever use Boone, that motherfucker snipes people from a mile away and scares the shit out of me. Yeah, that sounds, uh, that sounds annoying. Is there a way to set followers to, like, be passive? I don't think there is. Like, don't kill anybody until I tell you to. Uh, okay. Let's see. I also... Uh, you were asking about my favorite parts of the game, right? These hacking minigames, I think, are really, really good. Um... It's a, it's a really fun sort of logic puzzle. Uh, very satisfying to solve. Especially the harder ones. Um, let's see. Empty. Trash. Grief. Tries. Tried. Truth. We'll do a TR word. First, because most of them start with TR. Four out of five. Okay, so it's tries. There we go. Yeah, the easy ones are kind of like, you know. But the harder ones makes you feel like a smart boy. You know what I mean? Election guide. Okay, this is the same one. This is the same stuff. But this... Welcome, Mr. Gottlieb. <laughs> I'm not Mr. Gottlieb. The Justice Block. Okay. She can't do me. It's done. We're done. Nothing's done here. She's got the authority. The only thing she can't do is change her own fate. Nothing says she can't change the selection process for future overseers. Still have the majority. We don't vote for anything anymore. 
until she turns Doherty over to us. The other blocks won't support it. They're tired of us having power. We have the majority. We don't need them. This isn't a vote, Roy. They'll fight back. They've never had the nerve. Hell of a way to test it. Okay, so... Justice Block has been in control until this overseer just decides that everybody's just gonna we're just gonna let RNG decide and they're like well that sucks so they want to start shooting people until they get their way that's what I'm understanding what, well, doesn't that mean Justice Block has, like, the worst people in it? If they're the ones that have always had the power, right? If, I, if I'm getting my facts straight here, then that would mean everybody that is in the Justice Block is just a horrible person. Hmm. I'm starting to think that there isn't anything worth finding in here. I thought that was a ray gun for a sec. Like, never mind? No. I mean, even if it was a ray gun, I, I'm not really into the energy weapons, personally. Nothing, nothing. Oh! Man Mantis? Hello? Are you alright, buddy? What traits did you pick? Is that something that I can, like, see in the menu? Because I don't, I don't know that off the dome. Um, I can tell you I, I went into the game not with any, like, um, like, build plan or anything. I just, uh, I picked those answers at the beginning of the game, just based on my actual, like, like, what answers I may give. Um. Doc Mitchell gives you that list, and it's, like, good-natured and wild wasteland and shit. Yeah, um, I don't know if I can just well, I took Wild Wasteland, obviously. I took that, because, you know, that's that's fun. Um, but... I think all of these I've gotten from, like, leveling up and whatever. So, I don't know off the top of my head. Where am I? Am I lost? Need to go upstairs. Should be this way. Wait, what? What did I do? Trigger discipline and wild wasteland are pretty good. Tri pretty good picks. I don't. What did? What does trigger discipline do? I forgot. Oh yeah. That's definitely helped me out quite a bit in this run um my uh my aim is not necessarily true uh we'll say that eddie okay you could say my aim is a little bit uh 
it was a little bit uh, iffy, you know. It's it's uh, an unreliable narrator. Let's check security first. Terminal hard. Ashtray, again? Here, take this. We're really, like, on a roll here. I remember getting two more. I don't remember that happening. We're getting so many of these. They're just appearing in my pockets. Also, I don't know why I'm picking up like mantis legs. I haven't need to sell anything since like needing to get into New Vegas. Another, another, what did I pick up? Guys, what I just pick up? I can't jump. Here, take this. Oh, 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 oh. Excellent. Now I need to, sorry chat, I need to uh, sift through my, oh there it is, never mind. Ooh. Let me gauge round, perfect, excellent. Grenades, they don't weigh anything, I'll take them. For some reason, they don't weigh anything. Pass the whiskey. Security terminal. Deposition. Welcome, officer. Excerpt from the deposition of the defendant, Catherine Stone, by Vault Attorney Gerard Miles. This was the overseer that decided to uh, use a random number generator for the elections, I think, right? Okay, let's pick up where we left off, Kate. Catherine. Sorry, right, Catherine. I keep forgetting. My husband calls me Kate. You were telling us of a discussion you allegedly had with Roy Gottlieb of the Justice Block? Not allegedly. Had. We've been through this. It's still just your word against his, Miss Stone. But please, the discussion. <sighs> he said my husband's name had come up in their meetings. The candidate endorsement meetings? Yes. They were going to endorse him. He wouldn't say why, but I know my husband had a regular poker game with some of them, and he'd been on a winning streak lately. And according to you, what did Mr. Gottlieb offer? He said he could sway his block, prevent the endorsement, but only if I... Only if you what, Catherine? Only if I am... Um, only if you perform sexual favors. Yes. Was this just for Mr. Gottlieb? No. All of the block leadership. They're friends. And you agreed. What else could I do? 
They had a majority. How long did this go on before the endorsements came out? I don't know. A month, maybe. And when they came out and your husband was endorsed, despite your supposed agreement, was that when you decided to kill members of the block? Yes. I thought their majority is pretty slim. If I thin things out a little, especially in the leadership, someone else might get elected. Assuming you weren't caught. No, Mr. Miles. I expected to be caught. That was my best chance. Now they'll elect me. A confessed murderer. You think voters would be willing to risk putting you in charge? They have to pick somebody and live with their reasons. Yes, but wait and see. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Okay, so Mr. Gottlieb's terminal was the one we got the security thing from, where they were discussing their meeting. About, like, killing Catherine, I guess, taking power back. Hold on, I need to read this again. The college word against his husband's name came up. They were going to endorse him. So she didn't want his husband to win. So she gave them sexual favors to sway the block away. I'm trying to piece this together here. Assuming you weren't caught. So thin out justice block, so they're less likely to be picked. Okay, I'm a little confused. Can somebody explain what's happening, please? I, I'm a little bit kerfuddled. Open door. Ashtray. Almost missed that one. Um, oops. Oh. Oh, another ashtray. Must have missed one. Pursue. Oh, I need to be taking screenshots as well for the thumbnail. Oh, mini nuke. Wait, they have mini nukes down here? Missiles? And these guys are armed to the teeth. A stealth boy? I have, I have enough stealth boys, I think. Metal box. Grenade. Why are the grenades so big? Grenade. Oh, it's a, a bundle of 20. Energy cell. Cell, energy cell. Okay. 
I need a good shot of one of these, like, posters, I think. I think that's the best representation for this vault. Let me see. Is there one in here? Play for the winning team. I just hate that this cursor is in the way. Can I get rid of this cursor? Might be a hide HUD. I wonder. Settings, display, HUD. Look at that. Okay, now I need to take a screenshot. Boop, boop. What the heck? Yeah, I got it. I got it. You just can't see like what I'm I'm doing outside the game. To you, I think it to you guys it looks paused. Um but Yeah, it's on my computer it's Windows button plus print screen. I like my HUD back, please. Oh, I can change the color? Hold up. Let's go. Oh, now that is nice. I like that. How have I not changed it to green this whole time? Whatever. That's neither here nor there. What was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. Hmm. I HUD. Learn how to play Caravan? I tried. Okay. I played one game of Caravan in this game so far. Um, I feel like I figured it out for like a second. Or like, maybe okay, maybe I didn't figure it out. Like I lost pretty bad and then like I read the notes again. I'm like, oh, okay, that's why I lost. And I'm like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I have no clue how to play it either. Because no one does. No one knows how to play Caravan. Check this. It's a myth. Overseer's office. Oh, I see a lot of red. A lot of red pips. Oh, is that a rat down there? Yo, check this out. Ah, oh, okay. That didn't work. Where'd you go? Eddie, <laughs> where'd you go? <laughs> oh, gunshot? Wait, did I hear a gunshot? I've asked everyone I know who's played this game if they learn. The best I got was they kind of figured it out and then forgot. Yeah, I feel like I was close to that. 
where like I tried and like I kind of got a grasp of it but then I was like okay no I don't remember <laughs> I don't know I forgore and we keep going down it keeps going downstairs Thankfully, I mean, imagine if you had to win a game of Caravan in the main story. Wouldn't that be funny? Haha. <laughs> Unless. Oh god, I hope not. I hope, I hope Caravan is not required. What is, what is... Is somebody banging on something? Or is that a gunshot? Ashtray. Eddie's being weighed down primarily by ashtrays right now. It's actually starting to become an issue. Uh, okay, so this needs a key. Hmm. Up to find the key. That's a dead end. Okay, so now we must go down. Thankfully, I don't think there are any mandatory caravan games. Yeah, I also tried to play that, um, that game that Festus plays with you. Like, Sunset Sevens or... I don't know. Something like that. Um, and I lost. Whoa. I lost that. Um, I'm pretty sure Festus cheated, though. But that's between you and me. The heck was that? What? What was that? Where'd that come from? Are you kidding me? See, this is the shit I'm talking about. You've got to be kidding. Where am I? What was that? What blew me up? gosh see here we go here comes the rigged shotguns the landmines the tripwires what's next is an anvil gonna fall on my head like come on well they got a guillotine set up or something I suppose the overseer did have reason to be a little paranoid, but still. Like I don't I don't know what happened. Did the mantis like drop a grenade? Yes, it did. What? They putting grenades into mantises? What? <laughs> what is this? I'll give it that. That's a new trick. Haven't seen that one yet. It's a dirty trick. But I applaud the creativity. I need healing. Um, aid. I think the mantis might have triggered a grenade bouquet. 
Oh, like the mantis went over the tripwire. Yeah, maybe. Slow and steady wins the race. Haha. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, there's a tripwire. Oh boy, now I have to look out for landmines and shit. Why am I still being weighed down? Oh, I still have Stimpak sickness. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> I wish I could go faster. Man, this became a war zone down here, huh? Just abuse quick saves. Right. I mean, like, I... I mean... I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and try to be high and mighty and be like save scumming is wrong. Never save scum or else you're scum. You know. I I'm not going to lie to you. I've done my share of save scumming. Okay. But I'm trying to keep it to a minimum. I'm trying to keep myself a little honest, you know? Like my first playthrough of Skyrim was sneak bow. Okay. I think we all had that sneak bow phase. Alright. I'm not the only one. I cheesed the hell out of Skyrim. I'm going to play this one honestly. It crashes so often. I don't feel bad about save scumming at all. See, again, like, I haven't had that issue. Everybody says that it, it crashes all the time, but, like, I haven't had that experience. Uh, I think I do have, like, a, like, quality of life mod installed. What is this? Hold on. Water? Ow! What? <laughs> Come on now. What is this? Am I anywhere close to my objective? I haven't even been paying attention. You gotta crush every 30 minutes to an hour? Almost guaranteed. Yikes, dude. Surely it's not your computer, right? I know you have a pretty good machine. Unless, wait, do you? I think so. I wonder why that is. I mean, we have the same operating system. Iron, sunset, yes. Might be showing age these days. Ah, uh, there it is—the the jump scare, the slow mo jump scare. What is it? 
the reactor. Hey, reactor, slap me some skin. Sorry. Only me in this chat is going to, uh, to understand that reference. Wait, should I be opening the reactor door? This would be a good place to save. You have a lot more mods? Oh, yeah, maybe. I mean, this game is already finicky enough, right? And then you start adding mods onto it. Oh. Gee, I sure hope this ammunition box isn't booby-trapped. Oh, thank goodness. I remember what I was going to mention before. Um, pretty infamous for being poorly optimized. Yeah, my I can't play Fallout 3 beyond the, like, the tutorial because it crashes invariably. This doesn't work. Ooh. But I was going to mention... Does, does anybody else see the large volume of people that it says are in the chat right now? Because that's unusual. Are they bots? Are you guys bots? If any of you, like, of the 17 people that I see in chat, if you're real, um, thanks for being here, I guess. But I kind of... I kind of doubt you're real. What is, uh... What was I looking at? Oh! Do I have any rad resist? Yes, but I can't put that on. And that's a shame. I do have a rebreather. Some of the water is leaking out. I hope this is water. Right? Like. Oh boy. Oh boy. They really had to put a, a water section in this game, didn't they? Am I going closer to the reactor? Why am I doing this? Ooh, bye bye. Goodbye. Random fees and offer. Dang it. Those Chromebook or those uh, Google Fi ads. I don't know if you guys get those Google Fi ads on YouTube. They're stuck in my head. Oh no, oh, I'm lost. Okay, you know what? It's fine. This should be a dead end. What is this? Okay. I I haven't been here yet. Am 
Now this, this is a great shot. It's all the posters at the same time. Look at that. Okay, now I want my HUD back. Um, so this must be where everybody met to vote. Or it's the cafeteria. Oh. Prepared speech of Gus Olson Ombudsman for the annual overseer election. Okay. I don't think I recognize... Oh, we got the terminal password, too. Let's listen to this. I don't think we... Um, I don't think... We saw Gus Olson before. According to the text of a speech that was given or scheduled to be given in the Vault 11 atrium on Overseer Election Day, the, the terminal password is Betty. Okay. Now, what is an ombudsman? Ombudsman. Is that the person leaving office? I'm, I've heard ombudsman before. Hold on, I'm looking this up. Ombudsman. A government official. Who investigates citizens complaints. Against the government. Okay. Good afternoon. Each year, it is the appointed task of the Ombudsman not only to officiate the election, but to chronicle it in hopes that after the last overseer has finished his term, oops, has finished his term and walked to his death in the chamber beneath his office. Wait, what? After the last overseer has finished his term and walked to his death? in the chamber beneath his office and the vault has become still that one day some excavator from humanity or perhaps some yet unknown race of super beings might find our records and incorporate them into historical canon okay well if that's what the over if that's what happens to the overseer then i can see why people are really trying not to get voted in Okay, well that starts, this is starting to make sense now. They're all slandering each other. They're slandering themselves so that they make themselves not look like good candidates because they don't want to be voted because apparently they have to walk to their death at the end of their term. That kind of blows. But lately it's occurred to me that that's not really why. I think the real reason we do it is because we want to believe that somewhere in the archives there's an answer to all of this. Or perhaps there will be one when the historical records are completed and the whole story is told. We want it to make sense. To understand why the vault's mainframe will kill us if we do not offer one of our own as a yearly sacrifice. To fully comprehend why we can... Okay. Alright. So this is, this, is the, uh, this is the exposition dump. <laughs> the vault itself kills you. If you don't make a sacrifice, okay. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. To fully comprehend why we continue to have these elections, despite the unfettered corruption that has plagued it for what must be decades by now, there was a simpler time when elections meant shaking hands and kissing babies. But now, with the rise of the voting blocks and 
this infestation of bribery, drug trafficking, smuggling, and God knows what else. We want to know why. Well, I've been through the archives, and I can tell you, you won't find the answer there. You'll find an account of the first overseer, who entered this vault as the only citizen aware of the sacrifices that would have to take place. But he didn't have the answers either. If he did, surely he would have foreseen the citizens' anger when he broke the news. Surely he would have guessed that they would want to choose a sacrifice democratically, in the way that we citizens are accustomed to washing our hands of terrible deeds, and that his name would be at the top of the polls, and that the simultaneous vacancy of overseer and martyr would forever fuse the two positions here in Vault 11. But he didn't. Okay. So, the Overseer, they're voting for the worst person as Overseer because they have to be sacrificed and, like, you want to get rid of the, the weakest link or the worst person. Okay. That makes sense. This makes sense now. Uh, but he didn't. He had the answers no more than any of us, and the records state that after the citizens discovered that the sacrificial chamber's password was his wife Betty's first name, and its door was unsealed so he could be offered as the first sacrifice, he walked down into that room crying like a child. It's They kept the password? <laughs> they kept the same password all this time? I can only wonder if there are no answers to be found. And we are just going along with this because we don't see another choice. Nevertheless, I still hold on to hope that we can find one. I urge you all to take the journey I took, to remember that it wasn't too long ago that we were ruled by our civility and our dignity, and that those were times when we didn't have to be quite so ashamed. Thank you. This vault sucks eggs. I hate this place. Vault Tech, um, Vault Tech kind of suck, dude. I mean, that's probably not a uh, controversial opinion or anything, but um, yeah, Vault Tech kind of blow. It gets worse. This vault gets worse? Or do you mean like Vault Tech gets worse? Ouch. That figures. This vault? Oh boy. This vault's pretty bad. I mean, I've only been in three vaults so far. This one's the worst, though. For sure. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs first. The atrium... Okay, that's locked. There's a terminal here. Okay. What do you have to say? Ah, uh, the prepared speech. Okay, we already read that. Am I limping? I think I am. Um, what was it? The cafeteria? Or... 
Okay. I have the cafeteria left to look at. There are landmines here as well, which blow. Um, I hate that. Why don't you just turn off the mainframe, right? Just turn the computer off. Well, I guess then, like, all the life support systems would turn off. And that'd be a little counterintuitive. Hmm. If only they had a level 80 science like me then maybe they wouldn't be in this mess what a shame I wonder where the mantises came from though Well, I guess they, I mean, the door was open when I got here. They probably just crawled in. I don't think there's any horrific lore about that, hopefully. Okay. Back into the irra irradiated waters I go. Ugh, right. Radiation. Um, take rad away. Take some rad X. That should last me for a little bit. I came down this way. No door there. That goes underwater. We'll wait for that. Okay, I guess not. Mm, it's a good thing I have this rebreather. This would be horrible to do without a rebreather. Okay, this is the same. This is the same. Where's the water coming from, too? Is that just leaking in from, like, an aquifer or something? Okay. Well, there was nothing down here worthwhile, which is uh, kind of disappointing. I was expecting something cool down here for my trouble. I'll take my rebreather off, too. Actually, there's more water over here, I think. On the intended path. I came from here. Explored there. So now we go down, down, down.
The thing, though, the good thing about this underwater area is that I know I'm not going to be attacked by anything. Because there's no way to use weapons underwater, so. Oh, no. Just as I say that. There are standable areas now. Great. Is Eddie able to follow me through here? I don't think so. Makes it a little bit more frightening. There's the differential prep. High pressure controller. Yes. We love to see it. There's still some more vault here. Oh, right. The overseer's chamber. I can get into the... I can get into the chamber now. <laughs> I can go to the scary death room. Overseer order seven four five. Yeah, that's um. That's pretty scary. Uh, that's pretty. That's pretty terrifying. Uh, <laughs> heck, I'd be crying. I don't blame that one guy. I don't blame the first overseer. That's spooky. This would make a great screenshot, by the way. Is that a spine? Ow, my spine. Boop, boop, boop. Print screen. So, this is... This is where I presume that the vault gets worse. Um, I'm kind of afraid of what I'm going to find down here. Where's Eddie? Oh no, did I lose Eddie? Oh no, Eddie! I need to go back for Eddie first. Hold on. He's a little lost. I'm right here, buddy. Come on. He's stuck on the stairs. What is this? Come on now. Keep 
super distance. Oh no. Um, stay close. Can I jump on you? Can I push you? Am I making any progress? You're stuck. Okay. I hate to say this, but if I knock Eddie out, like if I reduce him to zero and he ragdolls, can I pick him up and then throw him into the hallway? Is that how that works? I mean, Eddie doesn't die permanently, right? He gets back up. Okay. Eddie. You know I don't want to do this. Right? I mean, I don't know. Oh! Well, look at that. It only took the threat of death for Eddie to get, get, to get up. Good job, buddy. He knew the end was nigh. Okay. Now we can go into the scary death pit. Almost loaded the game. That would have been tragic, yet hilarious. Oh, somebody spilled their coffee. Haha. <laughs> I think a hovering ball could handle stairs. Yeah. There's something about robots that just hates to. Congratulations, Martyr. Your fantastic cool. journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. The light. Okay, this is actually unsettling. I'm actually a little afraid. Ow. Eddie, I don't like this. I don't like this. Are there landmines here? Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. Oh. I'll take that ashtray, thank you. One last small victory. Before the end. Shoop. The show requires that you sit in the chair. Okay. Sacrifice so that your vault can.
and continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. But march with your chin held high, soldier, and remember that each of us right. has at least they make it comfortable. Right. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. <laughs> sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. It's Let's kind of take funny. A moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget when you met them... Can we just get to the point? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now and imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. Oh no. Guys, I accidentally picked up a whiskey bottle, and I don't know where it is. Seriously, like, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Drop. Ah! <laughs> I am dying. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm surviving this one. Well. <sighs> It was, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Hmm. I'm not out of stim packs. I just didn't want to like burn through them in one encounter. Although, do I? Oh, I thought I had a stealth boy. There is a... St we did see a stealth boy somewhere, right? Eddie has one? Please sit in the chair. The Wait, Eddie has a stim pack? Or a, a stealth boy? Oh yeah, I gave I gave Eddie my stealth boys. Okay. So maybe before the doors open, I pop a stealth boy. That might help, right? Or not? I don't know. I don't want to sit through that whole thing again either. Do I have explosives? I have grenades. I know I picked up grenades. I guess that that would be for like a grenade launcher. Now that I think about it. Yo, Eddie. Got any, uh... What do you got in here? I 
have pulse grenades. Pulse mines? Take some pulse mines and pulse grenades. Um, I also have a fat man, I guess. Okay. The show requires... Shut the hell up. Um, so here's my new plan. My new plan is throw some mines down here. Well, actually, will they? Absolutely essential that you sit in the chair. Will the mines trigger when the doors open? I don't know. I guess we can try it. What else am I going to use these things for? Am I right? You have no other choice. You must sit in the chair. You must sit in the chair. Yeah. Um, and then I'll equip the pulse grenades. And then I'll just try to heal through everything. I guess I have to, no have to grab the ashtray the again. Is there a way to make this faster? Greetings, martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be grab a stealth boy. Okay. So here's the plan. I'm gonna pop a stealth boy. I then start throwing, throwing pulse grenades. I then shooting with gun. We just have to wait for this. So, if I have this up, when the audio finishes, and I, like, put it down, will the doors open? Okay. Stealth boy. Can you see them? Good. Huh? Ah! <laughs> okay. Um things are happening. Things are happening. I still have a pulse grenade. Yeet! I wasn't sneaking. Do I have to sneak in order to use the stealth boy? I guess that would make sense. Um... That's the problem. Okay. Well, all the robots are dead. Can you see me?
All right. Wow. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Eddie, don't just do that. Scared the shit out of me. Okay. Whew. We did it, chat. <laughs> that was an incredible encounter. Um, I think this would be a good screenshot as well. Hold on. Uh, so sorry for pausing to take all these screenshots. I like to have a good thumbnail, though. See, hoarding items and weapons does come in handy. So keep doing it. Okay. I'm still reeling a little bit from all that. Uh, everything went off. Don't have to worry about that. Can't tell what's part of what robot. There are dead people back here, too. Oh, no. Don't tell me they're keeping all, like, the, the dead overseers in, like, a box somewhere or something. Like, come on. Like, you wouldn't do that, right? Surely not. I mean, right. Hmm. Well, I mean, who else could these bodies be? Right? Who else could they possibly be? None of the resistance or whatever would be able to get down here. messed up. They don't even have like a room. They just throw them back here. Oh, domain frame. I found it. Override lockdown. System recording. Vault 11 solution. Automated response. Vault 11 solution. What is this? Let's do some listening. System recording. Okay, so they said that to the mainframe. I guess this is what the mainframe said back? Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. But not so fast. Be sure to...
must check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. Here at Vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. Yeah. That stings. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. <laughs> That fucking sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for swearing. But that blows, dude. Ouch. <sighs> well. Yeah, that did get worse. You were right. Ouch. That's kind of, that's, that's pretty messed up. I mean, like, how were they to have known, right? There's no way they could have known that that was the solution to the vault, right? It only took a, um, only took a war, right, for him to figure it out, and everybody died. I guess that's why, um, I guess that's why those people at the beginning of the vault didn't want anybody hearing the truth about what happened. Because, yeah, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> to say the least. It's a little, it makes them look a little cringe. You know what I mean? They're, they're a little cringe to kill the entire population of their vault for nothing. For literally nothing. I think this is a really great vault, by the way. The storytelling in this one was, was uh, really top notch. Really kept me invested the whole time. I think this might be among my favorite areas now in the game just for you know that whole plot and that encounter at the end um that encounter at the end was pretty fun to uh to overcome as well it's one of your favorite vaults as well i can see why it's probably a lot of people's favorite vaults you know has some good challenge. Has some variety. Had an underwater section. Like, there are a lot of uh, different. There are a lot of variety of challenges to um, to overcome in that vault. Really cool. Definitely a highlight. What is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um. And actually, it's perfect timing, because uh, it is now 8 o'clock, uh, which means it's about time for me to end the stream. But I'm going to... Where am I going? I'm going to turn in this quest first, and then see if there's anything um, additional to do immediately following and then we'll go ahead and close out the stream but that was a that was a great vault I might try the uh, mini game in here again um, Dean, I don't know if you remember the, like, 
uh, terminal mini game, like the virus mini game that's in here. Um, the virus isolation. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I understand how it works. I've, I've isol see, cause I had a high enough science to where I could get like the bonus where like the ones I already isolated stay isolated. Um, which is quite helpful. I think I have two of them already pinned down. Yeah. I have two of them pinned down in these. But I still need to get another one. So every time I come down here, I like to give it another shot. I mean, it's just random, right? It's just RNG. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Virus? Yes. So don't do these. I'll go along the outside. Wait, was that it? No. I'm looking for a computer that makes fun of me, basically. Ten seconds. It's so frustrating, too, because, like, on, like, the second attempt, I got both of those terminals next to each other. And now, like, now that there's only one left, it's impossible to find. Like, what the heck? One day. One day. I will isolate the virus. Are you the one I need to go to for this? No. Hello, I'm here with the ventilation. Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Yeah, uh, it just took me like a couple deaths, some existential dread. But I got them. Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. Thanks. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it will. Hello. It sure was a difficult task, guys. It was pretty hard. Especially doing it, you know, alone. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, that blowed. Anyway, you can breathe now. Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? Yes. Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brother. Moreover, I've been going over the scout's report and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I believed it to be, and we should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believe my actions were guided by caution and prudence. But I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios. But I left that battle scarred by fear. And have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. What happened that to Helios? Now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. Yay! Month, we will once again flourish. Yay! Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks. And scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you. But Money? It's all I am allowed to give an outsider. What is it? This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. 
I hope it will prove useful in your travels. Nice. Thanks, buddy. 12,000 XP. Did I level up? I see our brotherhood at battle. I see. All right. Well, let's level up. Um, What do I got? 15 points? My lockpick is 80. I think I... Mm, I want better science. I think I'll improve my medicine, my speech, and uh, my science. I'll go with that. All right, well, I guess that's all to do here. Except, you know, for the, uh, you know, <laughs> you know. Now, I'll give it one more try. I'll give it one more college try. How about that? Did you want to try isolating the virus? virus? Yes. All right. Get out of the way. Show me the virus. The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ten seconds. It's going to be this one. It's going to be this one. Oh. Absolute bogus. What? I've like checked every terminal in this room. It feels like I did anyway. Don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. I think actually with that. Ooh. With that, I think I've actually visited all of the side bets clans. Yeah. I made contact with all the people from... Uh... From the quest. So, I guess next up is change in management. Uh, on the next stream, Wednesday, I'm going to the fort, and I'm killing Benny. But, uh, that's for next time. Uh, let me switch over. To my face. Hello. It is my face. Ugh. Well, uh, I think that was a great stream today. Um, I thank everybody who's here for being here. I guess whether you're real or not. I don't know. It's hard to know these days. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. Have a good night. You have a good night as well, Dean. Thank you so much for coming out. It was uh, it was great having you. I uh, I enjoyed having your insight in chat. 
Um, and everybody else, thank you as well for being here. And um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. We'll be continuing where we left off, Fallout, doing, you know, Fallout again uh, on Wednesday, 6 o'clock. And uh, I hope to see all of you guys there. Uh, until then, goodbye and good night. <laughs>